in progress. <clears throat> Hello, class. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Thank you. All right. Good evening. Good evening. It's raining in your house, teacher. Yes, it started raining a while ago. Is it raining in your house? Yes. It's good at night. I like I like to sleep with rain. <laughs> yes, it is. Here is raining here in Shotsuapa. It's raining nice. It's good. It's a little cold. Yeah, but that's nice because it's hot every day. Yeah. All right, let me see here. Let me see what's here. Let me see, let me see. Oh, my eyes hurt. I think I need new glasses. All right. Hello, Ivania. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm okay. And you? I'm good. Where are you? In your house? Yes, at my house. Who do you live with? Your family? No, I live alone. Oh, and your family lives in, in Wasapa, right? Morasan. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Morasan, yes, Morasan. Yes. How often do you go to Morasan? Um, maybe uh, twice a month. Twice a month, oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes it's like, oh, I don't wanna go because it's far, huh? Yes, yeah, three hours. Three hours, oh man. Excuse my question, where, where do you live? Near? Uh, I live near Mexicanos. Okay, oh yeah, so and you live and you work in Tres Torres, right? Yes, no, 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 I don't, I didn't, I don't work in Tres Torres, it's another uh, building, but uh, always uh, in, Okay, you know what is one problem with all the buildings of El Salvador? What? There's never parking. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, we have parking only for the employers. But sometimes not even for the employers. <laughs> yes. For the employees, not employers, employees. Employees, okay. Do you know what is the employer? Uh, the boss? No, in your case, the employer is the ministerio. Oh, okay. The employer. Okay. You're an employee of the ministerio. Okay. Yeah. And um, how is it living alone? How long have you lived alone? Um, I... Live alone since June twenty twenty one. Okay, so almost a year. Almost a year. Yeah. How were the first days? The reason why I'm asking you is because remember I told you that I lived in San Miguel. Yes. And um, I, I I met a lot of people that students in San Miguel that they came to San Salvador to work and live. And it was it was very sad for them the first days because it's like, oh my God, number one, you're alone. And number two, you don't know anything <laughs> anywhere. Yes. So what's yes. the 
Was it scary for you at the beginning? Uh, at the beginning, yes, of course. But I live um, five years, like five years with my aunt um, here in San Salvador, near to Oh, my okay. House. Oh, so you have lived in San so, Salvador a while then. Yes, yes. I know all about San Salvador. So for oh. that part, it, it was easy, but I think um, live alone is the, the most difficult to be, to live alone is when you, um, when you have an emergency or when you are sick and nobody can help yeah. you. So that's um, only the, the, the bad things. But for, the, for other part, I love you know, alone because oh, yeah. I have my own space. I, you do what you want. Yes, I do what I want. So I have five. So I used to live alone, and and, and um, contrary to what people think, when I lived alone, I didn't like people coming to my house. <laughs> it happened this the same for me. Yes, many people think, oh, my God, you live alone, you party all day. No, I, I maybe the first year I lived alone, I did that. And it was something very stupid because all my friends came and they used my house like an apartment. Yeah. And then I said, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I can't be doing that. I love maybe one day, but not all the days on the week. Yes. Maybe in the weekend, I, for example, uh, I love cooking on the weekends and invite to my aunts and my cousins to lunch with me. All right. So so you live like in an apartment or house. You don't live in a room. No, I live in a house. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. I buy my own house. You bought your house. How cool. Yes. Nice. Congratulations. Nice. Thank you. So you have a King Flip poster in your house. <laughs> yeah. A monument. <laughs> you know, and, and that's very good, something you did because you bought your house. I met many people that they have, they have lived here like eight years and they are still renting a room. And they have a they have a very good job. And I say, why don't you buy a house or, or an apartment? And yeah. they say, no, because maybe I go back to San Miguel. And so rent the house or something. <laughs> I don't have... Uh, plans to go back to Morazan. So uh, I see my future and I will work on Ministerio Hacienda or in another institution, public institutions yes. in San Salvador. So That's I good. have to, to buy a house. That's good. That's cool. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. What I don't recommend is to work like for a mop or something like that. Why? For construction's company. No, not for a mop directly, but like to work for construction companies. Because like, for example, my, my brother-in-law and his wife, both of them are engineers and they work in construction companies. And depending where the company gets the contract, they have to go there. So um, they go to Chalchuapa, they go to Metapan, and they live there like for six months. Yeah. And I think that's not very, I can't, I, I can't be with, without my son one day. Hey, Alexander, you're back. Many months ago, I, How are you? I wanted to, to work on a, on a, a company in private in the private sector. In the private sector. Uh -huh, okay. Private sector, yes. But I don't know. I I I have been working work uh, at Ministry of Hacienda five years ago. So I All think right. I I have to to learn more. Yes, it's true. Yeah. It's true. All right. Okay. Okay. How is everybody? Good. Very good. 
How are you, Alexander? Good. Why yesterday? Hey, you know, my 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 brother is it's uh he's was sick, but he have a surgery uh, the peritonitis. Really? <laughs> yes, the last week. No, really. <laughs> it's true. But, but, but uh, it's okay. Right now, uh, he is okay. okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, I went you to the Vasco. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Excuse my ignorance. Where is the peritonitis? Ah, uh, hey. Um, it's a surgery that, uh, how do you say that? The name, the... Uh, hey, I don't remember the name. Y de coda. ¿Eh? ¿Cómo se llama? La cosita que le quitan a uno. Apéndice. The appendix. Oh, the appendix. Yes. Yes. And you know, you, but you sometimes know. It's, a, it's a complicated because sometimes a uh, guy is dead because it's called exploda. Yes. This part, yes. But my brother is okay. Oh, well, I'm good. I'm happy for that. Yes. Hey, let me, let me check that out. Peritonitis. Yeah. <laughs> peritonitis oh man mm -hmm. damn let me tell you why i ask you that because i don't know if you know but in the day what i do is i work from my house mm -hmm. i i am a, i am a registered interpreter uh-huh so what i do is in the day i interpret i interpret mm -hmm. for people yeah. For hospitals and insurance. Oh. And uh, there are many, are many uh, uh, words about the a specific um, work. Yes. So I, yeah, that's why I asked you peritonitis. I'm, oh, oh it's a nuevo. Yeah, but it's peritonitis. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. And um, yeah, so that's what I do um, in, in the day. I, I interpret for. for Online too, teacher? Yeah, no, what happens is like, let's say in the United States, you know, um, let me tell you one thing before we start. The the social security, the, the health, the health security we have in El Salvador, believe it or not, is good. Okay. It's bad. It's bad if it's something basic, like a fever mm -hmm. or like, oh, my finger hurts. Yes, you're going to wait five hours. But when it's something like really, really serious, like a heart, you mm -hmm. know, it's it's good. It's it's awesome. And um, like, let me give you an example. My brother-in-law, the one that I told you, he works in MOP. Mm -hmm. Working, he had an accident and he broke his leg in eight pieces, destroyed his leg. Oh. And they operated him. Oh, they they put that. like five titanium things in his legs and he was in bed one year. And and the so and Seguro covered it. Yes. Just that operation was maybe seventy thousand dollars. Yeah. And um, uh, my boss, my wife's, her boss, he had an open heart surgery. That operation was maybe eighty, ninety thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. And over here is free. <laughs> Because the yeah. so, so the cell is universal. So you know when people say, Oh, que una basura, yes, it is, but yes and no. Mm -hmm. It's depend on. Yeah, my son, my son, when he was born, he had complications with the pancreas. So he was in um he was two weeks in in a incubadora. Yes, mm -hmm. in, in a test tube. Mm -hmm. And you know the test tube, they were like high technology. My brother, he's a doctor, he told me, No, take him to a seguro, don't go to a private. Seguro. Uh, because you, it's your brother. Yeah, but you know, he told me they have the best, the best technology. And yes. remember before the nurse, they have to put the, the hand now mm -hmm. that the tubes. Yes. They have like a calculator on the top. It tells you the heartbeat, mm -hmm. everything of the baby, the temperature, the fever, everything. Mm -hmm. So he was there like for two weeks. And my brother told me that in a in a private hospital maybe one thousand dollars per day yes so in the united states por ley it's a law that you have to pay insurance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the problem is that it's not universal so you have to choose like let's say alexander you're married oh man i have to pay insurance so i'm going to pay 
pediatra, pediatrician. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay dentist, and mm -hmm. I'm going to pay basic health care. Oh, in the United States? Yes. Oh. So what happens? You go to the doctor. Yes, yeah, sí, yo estoy asegurado, but, but what you need is a specialist. Oh. Like, you, you, you're paying a dentist, oh. but then in your dentist, you need a orthodontist. Yes. So that's your insurance doesn't cover that. So you have to pay that. Yes. Una, I, know. Una estafa, man. No, so, yes. I, I know I, I have a, a family in the United States. They come here to yes. try to the, uh -huh, the fix it. The yeah, because they, yes. they tell you like, yes, Alexander, you need this. Okay, it's good. But I pay dentist. Yeah, you pay dentist, but you don't pay orthodontist. Yeah. You're what? Yeah. So that you have to pay separately. So what I do is these people that go to the to the hospital or to the clinics, let's say Alexander, you go the and you tell the, the, the doctor, uh, I need an interpreter. Uh -huh. So then the doctor calls Siracom. That that's that's the company where I work. Okay. And Siracom has hospitals and insurance. Mm -hmm. And then we get the call. And, uh, you know, I introduce myself. Hello, I will be your interpreter today. And then the doctor tells me, hi, I'm Dr. This. I have Alexander with me. And boom. And, and all I have to do is interpret. Uh, good. It's, good. it's very, very interesting. Yes, you, you, you talk about that, it's, but it's necessary certif certified. Yes, you have to be certified by, by the company. Mm-hmm. Because the company was like, confian in ti, you know, like, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Uh, he translated, I love you. Dice que te va a matar. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I have to. Lo tengo que hacer. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Oh, man, I have many cases. Yeah. Um, I had this woman, she had schizophrenia. <gasps> and the Ooh. doctor says, what do you feel? ¿Qué sientes, señorita? Mm -hmm. I hear, escucho voces, pero es Dios que me habla. Y por favor, ayúdenme, no deja de hablar. And, you know, I hear voices. God is talking to me. Please help me. It's, it's very dark, man. Mm -hmm. It's uh, um, One time I had to call a family because they disconnected their... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, ya, ya aprendí una nueva hoy. Bueno, o quizá yo la había usado, pero no se me quedan todas. <laughs> Peritonitis will be peritonitis. Okay. It's very fun. I recommend you to do that once. Okay. Hey, listen, le recomiendo, I don't know why, man, pero doctors, ¿cómo recomiendan guineo y aguacate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> for babies, for children, especially. If your baby doesn't eat, no le gusta comer su hijo, okay. Feed them bananas and avocados because I don't know they, they they're like the complement. Okay. And um, the COVID is serious. The doctors in the United States no juegan con eso, man. No. Yeah, like your brothers, you said, su hermano. Lo primero le habían dicho, ya se puso las vacunas. No. Ya se ha hecho un examen de COVID en los últimos 30, 30 días. No, ok, no lo podemos hacer la cirugía hasta que se lo haga. Mm, no, but, but you know, there are uh, like a five or, or six, um, like a, for example, e eco, eco, ecograma, mm -hmm. eh, like a, I don't remember the ultra. Ultrasound. Like, mm -hmm. Yes, no, but like a, a they appear like a five five doctor in interista like oh a, yes the, doctor, the anesthesiologist the, yes the everything the doctor and the nurse and the, like a five or six six guys doctor yes doctor, between doctor and nurse and, and the others yes so, it's yeah. true yeah the only time I get angry when I, in my job, I get angry with Latinos. Uh -huh. Why? Because we don't understand. I mean, hold on. It's like. The, 
well, I get angry because maybe they just had a baby. Mm -hmm. And then the doctor says, and they want to have more babies and more babies. Ya llevan como cinco y seis. <laughs> you know, and, and okay. Uh, and sometimes the baby is sick. No, yo quiero seguir teniendo. No, eso es pecado. Yo no quiero. <laughs> you know, it's like, really? oh, man. It's sad. It's, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Can you excuse me one moment, please? I need to check something. I will be back in a short time. Hold on, please. Okay, okay. Hey, guys, I need your help. Help me, please, because I have a problem with the, let me see, the 4.5. What is the, the uh, Naomi designer what? Naomi? Hello, guys, help me. What? Let uh -huh. me, uh -huh. let me uh -huh. check. Uh -huh. Inter Naomi, the interior designer. Ah, interior, ah. Okay, interior, interior, interior designer. Let me see, it is true. Ah, uh -huh. uh oh, oh, it's spelling for me. Oh. Spelling for me. I N T E R I O D E S I G N E R. Ah, without S, interior designer. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> wow, thank you very much. And You're welcome. In the number six of uh, 4.2, because he's someone responsible. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Someone, someone responsible for, huh? for someone a large staff. Uh -huh. a, a large? The, yes. Ah, without uh -huh. four. Without. Without four? For a large. A, a large staff has to be able to be the with, same. With, to be created with a schedule. Uh, Only someone responsible. Uh -huh. with, someone someone with responsible? S, with S responsible. Uh, with S, OK. With, with a, uh, someone who responsible, is? a large? Staff, yes, for us to be able. I will send you on the message. Okay, please. I am taking a, a advantage because the teacher is is. Oh. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> hello, hello, how are you? <laughs> are you with the yeah. person? <laughs> no, I had a problem today because today I restarted my computer and everything. So um so uh I couldn't uh, I lost the passwords and all my passwords were saved. Oh no. So I couldn't open the, the, the platform, but now uh, I can huh? because you forgot that password. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, I believe we were going to start lesson 4.8, correct? Okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me, hold on. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so it says here, reduce relative pronouns. Okay. Because yesterday we did, oh, hold on, let me see, just to make sure. Just to make sure. Wait, you see what happened? Okay, I'm here. No, we're in section four.
Excuse me. Do do you remember where we finished yesterday? Tag questions. Tag questions. Wait, wait. Hold on, please. You see everything erased, my, my complete. Okay, oh yeah, we did the technology. I remember that we did yesterday. Remember the technology about um, health mm -hmm. problems with technology? The... Yes. Okay, we did. Okay, we did that. Mm -hmm. We did the knowledge check. We did that. I think here's where we stop, creativity quiz. Because this is where we stopped, right? Now, is anyone becoming a champion athlete? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Here's where we stopped. Relative classes. Okay, yeah. Oops. Do you notice a relative class? Mm -hmm. Do you notice a relative class? Yes, teacher. What is, give me an example. Mm -hmm. person who the person who is there is a finger okay let's see no no problem let's let's watch the video maybe we get the idea here let's see here who which that good for you you still remember now we'll learn how to shorten relative clauses. Stay and learn how. Reduce relative clauses. You can shorten a relative clause by dropping the relative pronoun and the verb be. Someone who, that is, able to think quickly might be a good surgeon. A person who, that is, looking for adventure could be a private detective. A person who, that is, training music might be a good DJ. You can also drop who or that and change the verb to the gerund. Someone who or that needs job security might not want to be a jazz musician. Someone needing job security might not want to be a jazz I'm sorry. musician. In many relative clauses, who or that has can be replaced by with. A person who or that has a good voice could be a good TV journalist. A person with a good voice could be a good TV journalist. Once a relative clause is reduced, it becomes an adjective phrase. It is bound within a noun phrase and defines and describes that noun phrase. A person, noun phrase, working as a surgeon, adjective phrase, needs to be creative and smart. These adjective phrases must come immediately after the noun they are describing. They are not separated by commas. Any relative clauses who... I don't like those complicated technical explanations. So let's do it easier. So you can shorten a relative clause by dropping the relative pronoun and the verb be. Okay, so we can say someone who is able to think quickly. So for example, um, who is single here? Ivania, you're single. You're, you're, you're single technically, Ivania. right? She is single, yes. Ivania. So- The says I'm single. Yes. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. What does your yes. Dewey say? What does your Dewey say? What do you mean? <laughs> does your Dewey say you're married? No. Okay, so you're single. Hey. Yes. Hey, that's a, so listen, you're going to marry a man who Um, 
could be rich. You see how women are? But, but rich too. <laughs> you see how Money women are? Is the most important. <laughs> not, not for a man. Men, we're not materialistic. We're going to marry a woman who has nice feelings. <laughs> Okay, so, but in this case, you're going to marry a man who is rich. All right, good, good, good. Uh, Nuri, finish the sentence. You, I don't like people who or that. Nuri's not there, right? Okay, Marielos, finish the question. I don't mm -hmm. like people. Yes. Finish I'm the question. Here, oh, okay. Well, okay, Maria, you're next. Nuri, can you finish the sentence? I don't like people that. Okay, listen, Ivania said, I'm going to marry a man who is rich. She finished the sentence, who is rich. So Nuri, I don't like people who or that. He's okay, cool. who can finish that sentence? I don't like people that. Who is aggressive or? Okay, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like people who are aggressive. Good. I don't like people who are fanatics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like religion fanatic. Oh man, I don't like those people. Mm -hmm. But like the fanatics, fanatics, like the uh -huh. schizophrenia. I don't like people. <laughs> Is that lazy? Oh, no, but we need a relative clause. I don't like people who are lazy. Okay. okay. All right. Uh -huh. Marielos, okay, the contrary. Okay. I like people. I like people that are sincere. All right, good. Oscar, music. Music. Uh, I like people. Who or, or oh, wait, you don't necessarily have to say I like people. You say I like music. Oh, I like music uh, that is uh, happy, maybe. Happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, happy music, or I don't know. What is happy music like? Positive I don't know. Music? Kri -kri? Positive music, maybe. Yeah. I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> Positive. Okay. It's a calm music, maybe. Yeah, because happy music is cri cri, you know, like I viene la. Oh, oh. Maybe. I viene la. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, good. For example, I, I, I have heard music like happy, for example. I think there is a happy song. Yes, it's true. It could be. Yes. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of happy music. Like, yeah. Okay, cool. Luis. Tell hi. me. Hi. Tell me something you don't like about youth, uh, young people today? Young people, train. Yes, like I don't like young people that. Yeah. I, I, um, I, I, don't, I don't like people that is uh, are talking a lot of. Talking a lot about specific something or just talk a lot? Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. maybe uh, uh, talking a lot of faster um, when I understand very well. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Marvin Calix, I feel sorry for people that. I feel sorry for people that uh, don't comprehend the old people. Okay. All right. Omi, I don't like people that, or that I, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't like people who is a gossip and lazy. Okay, good. Um, I don't like people who are lazy and gossip. Gossip okay. is a verb. So lazy uh, is an adjective. 
So I don't like people who are lazy and they gossip. Mm, okay. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. Like I don't who, who are messy. Mm. Excuse me. Messy. Who are messy? Yeah. Messy. Okay. He's a soccer player. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. He is the best soccer player in history. But disordenado is not. Uh -huh. it's about oh, him. oh, oh. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, now I understand. Yes, I don't like people who are messy. I see what he wants. But it's the same with the, the soccer player. <laughs> yes, it's, yes, it's the same pronunciation. It's true. I have a question. Who is Galaxy Tab? Uh, Roxana, teacher, is, is my computer. Is, is, oh, okay. Oh, okay. For the okay. Uh, okay, Roxana, now I know. <laughs> okay, good. So yeah, I don't but like people. I don't know what, what is Galaxy? No, my name. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it says Galaxy Tab A. Yeah, it's my. Eight point zero two thousand nineteen. Wow, that's a nice tab. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> that's a nice. That's a nice tablet. But I don't know what why uh, doesn't appear my my name. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's strange. When I turn on, when I enter to the meeting, I, 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 I don't know when, what, what, why my name doesn't appear. Yeah, you can change that. Um, listen, in my case. I love people who are interesting. Oh wait, th this is something I don't like. I don't like people who go out and stay all night in their phone. I am, maybe I am very old school for that. Do you know mm -hmm. what is old school? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that because like, imagine, imagine you go out in France and you're talking and, <laughs> and then they're like this, you know, they are on their phone all the time. So I, I don't like that. Okay. I think you have to respect that moment. All right. Okay, so that's like a relative clause. People that, people who, places that. Mm -hmm. For example, I don't like I, I don't like to go to bars that have karaoke. Uh... Oh man, that's torture. <laughs> you don't want to. You I'm don't sorry? like to sing. You don't like to sing. No, it's not that. I don't like to hear people sing because some people sing horribly. <laughs> no, you know, you know, maybe I'm very old fashioned. I like to go to like bars or restaurants where I can talk to people. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to go, what? What? Mm -hmm. Because of the noise. <laughs> yeah. So in conclusion, I don't go out. I always stay home. I am thinking, yes, what happened with the teacher? Maybe never out your, uh, his house because, because normally in the restaurant or the mall, and etc., it's a lot of people. It's a, it's a crew. Yeah, but you know, the problem is like if you go to a bar, mm -hmm. yes. like around 7, 8 p.m., and every, every bar they put reggaeton now. Uh, yes. It can be a San Benito bar. It can be a La Cima bar. I mean, anywhere you go, it's like reggaeton. And I really don't like that music. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I prefer to have people visit me. My whole, like, you know. Okay. Yeah. But um, my wife, ella sale. <laughs> she tells me, hey, vamos con, you know, los primos. Nah. 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 
Like my wife, she wants to go see Pandora. <laughs> it's like, really? I'm not going to go see Pandora. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Because we're married. If you were my girlfriend, maybe, but we're married. You go. <laughs> hey, Ivania, Ivania, check, Ivania, check, check, Ivania, check. check. Okay. I'm taking uh -huh. notes. Take, uh -huh. yes. take notes. Take uh -huh. notes. Okay. I even went to church with my wife. Mm -hmm. I only went like four times. Uh huh. But not today. No, no, and I stopped going. I, I, I don't go to church. Uh -huh. so but you know when 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 she's your girlfriend you have to be a perfect gentleman <laughs> <laughs> but when you're uh, married when you're married it's like no you go <laughs> okay so relative clause so that's good so you say i don't like cars that mm -hmm. that i don't like places that i don't like but remember for anything for people is who yes before uh-huh yes Okay. Yes. Yes. Ah, let me see. Kalena, welcome. Tell me something. You don't like men who? Who smoke. Very good. Oh, yeah, that's true. I don't like people that smoke or who smoke. Mm -hmm. Very good. And dun, 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 dun. Okay, good. Let's see the next part. Instructions. Rewrite the sentence with reduced relative clauses. Remember to use the capital letters and periods. Yes. Anyone who dreams of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do hard work. Answer. Anyone dreaming of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of work. Yes. Someone who hopes to be a chef should get proper training. What is the answer here? Someone hoping to be a chef should get the proper training. Okay, good. Let me do one thing here. Okay. Yes, you're correct. Hey, hey, teacher. What wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so someone who hopes to be a chef should get proper training. Someone hoping to be a chef should be uh, should get the proper training. Good. Yeah. Anyone who wants to be an, act an actor needs both talent and luck. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, what is the reduced relative clause? Who without who or that? Mm. So, anyone wanting to be an actor. Yes, mm. when wanting to be an actor needs both talent and the good. Saben que gramaticalmente this is not correct. Wanting, mm -hmm. why? Yes, because yeah. yeah, you can't say wanting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Popular speaking, yes, is correct, but grammatically, no. Mm -hmm. You know, there are my first uh, problem because I remember when you talk, uh, mm -hmm. talk us, hey, no one, but I try mm -hmm. and try, but my daughter says, hey, try why uh, ing and write ing, boom, good. Hey, my teacher, oh. I talk with him <laughs> so your daughter <laughs> does your homework. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. You said it. No, but you have me some time. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. All right. A person who works as a comedian is always looking for new ways to make people laugh. Mm -hmm. What would it be? A person? Working. Working. You know, talking about comedians, have you ever? I don't know if he still exists. Do you remember Flaco Frank? Yes, I remember. He was funny. Mm, but it's a bad, it's a all time is a bad word. I, I don't like it because he's very vulgar. Yes. No, but he's funny to watch only one time because if it's always the same jokes. Yeah. yeah. So if what, you watch, what? if you watch him another time, it's the same thing. Mm. All right, but he's funny. Mm 
uh, people who are clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make good detectives. People clever enough. Uh huh. Yeah. So we don't say to. We just take away who. So mm -hmm. we say people clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make good detectives. Yes. There was a good TV show. Have you seen Criminal Minds? Mm -mm. No. You never I seen know. I, I know a series, but never I watched the series. Yes, I like it. Yeah, mm. that, was, that was a good show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, just the name, Criminal Minds, imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was addicted to that show. I remember one time there was a marathon. Like for Saturday and Sunday, I was like, wow, watching one show after the other. Okay, <laughs> number five, anyone who dreams of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of work, hard work. So is anyone dreaming, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Someone who is responsible for a large staff has to be able to be creative with scheduling. Hey, please, teacher, up. Please, up. Your, your screen. Oh, up and down. Up and down. Responsible. Down, please. Okay. Yes. So, no, sorry, Kiki Temos, who is? Has to be able to be creative. Yes. Hey, but I don't know what happened in my no way, computer. Is it wrong? Someone responsible for a large staff. Uh huh. I wrote that. Any responsible or responsible? Here, I put it on your on your on the chat. Copy paste that. Okay. If it's wrong, then the system is wrong because I literally I copy paste from. Okay. Excellent, teacher. Okay, right. okay. Yes. All right, you got it. Cool. So let's see the creative quiz. I don't remember this one. Let's see what this one's about. So how creative are you? Take the following quiz and find out. Huh. Add up your score, then find out what it means. How creative are you? Let's see. Are you a risk taker? Let me see. Uh, oh, wait, I, I know who to ask this to. The perfect person to ask this to would be. Okay, hold on. Man, uh, where is he, Manuel? Oh, we lost him. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Manuel, Mr. Molina. Are you a risk taker? Hello, Miss Luis Molina, are you there? Add up your score, then. Okay, yes. are you a risk taker? No. Yes, I imagine you were going to say no. No, never. Uh, teacher, in my case, what? What do you think? In my case? I think you are. Yes, number three. You went to San Miguel to take a, a, an employee. You took the risk. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes because I feel, Luis Molina, I feel you're a very organized person. Like you, you have everything planned and you like to do everything according to your plan, correct? Mm -hmm. That is correct. <laughs> All right, cool. Yes. I am a risk taker. I, I, you know, I rather say I did it and not say, what if I had done it? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they're both good. They're both bad. Mm -hmm. Are you naturally curious? Nuri, are you a curious person? No, I'm not. You're not? That's 
So like, let's say if we're talking about about something right now and you say, hmm, sabe que eso. So like after class, you don't just like, you don't Google it to see what it is, no? Uh, Nuri, can you hear me today? Time. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you look for... Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Do you look for opportunities to improve things, Oscar? Yes, teacher, always. Yes. I think, I think this question is like, really? Come on. Who's going to say no? <laughs> Imagine this is a job interview. So, Oscar, are you the type of person that looks for opportunities to improve things? No, I am not, sir. <laughs> like, no. Okay, Oscar, thank you very much. We will call you. No. <laughs> so let's let's next. That question is really not. Are you a sensitive? Are you sensitive to beauty? Beauty. What do you understand by this question? Are you sensitive to beauty? I don't understand. Really, I don't understand. This kind of, of question. Yes, I really don't understand that question. Women, help me. Help us because are you sensitive to beauty? Okay, let me see one thing. When you see me, do you se quedan pausadas? No, right? Okay, so you're not sensitive to beauty. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Do you challenge accepted ideas? Yes. Here, let, let's make our own questions. Are you that? Okay, let me see. Ivania, do you think outside the box? Sorry, I can't hear you. Do you think outside the box? Outside the box. Uh -huh. um, what what is uh, what do you mean? This is a very common expression in English, okay? Think outside the box. Yes. Like um uh como like nosotros decimos pens como somos muy cuadrados. No, actually, okay, like, let me give you an example. Uh, okay. Think outside the box is like. Like an open mind? Okay, I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you one example. One time I was doing interpretation. Mm -hmm. And I was speaking with a Puerto Rican person. Mm -hmm. Puerto Rican person. And then this person, she was very terrible person she was a terrible person and she spoke terribly mm -hmm. you know she eh, dile que yo voy para el sur y la para que tú no entiendes por eso que no me gusta hablar con usted and you know i asked her please speak in short phrases a mí no me importa si tú no me entiendes porque usted no me you know and then and I was thinking of audit, right? So I said, I, I spoke with the doctor. I said, doctor, excuse me, I have to talk to her. And the doctor says, okay, talk to her, señora. Yo tengo que interpretar todo lo que usted ya palabra por palabra. Por favor, le repito que me ayude y pronuncie bien las palabras. Look, he said, from Grand Riesco, because, you know, I was, you know, yes. but, but I was thinking outside the box because my client was the doctor, mm -hmm. not the patient. So I was thinking outside the box, you know, like what I did, it was a risk. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking outside the box. Well, listen to the call. The lady, she couldn't. Eh, la L, L, R, cuando yo le pedí algo, me puede dar su dirección, es el sur, bla, bla, bla. So, I, I was thinking outside the box, well, I have to control this call, and I have to speak with the lady. Y eso no puedo hacer yo en un protocolo. Yo solo me tengo que quedar estrictamente a, um, ¿cómo se llama? Yes. 
Pero I was thinking outside the box. Si no lo hago, voy a, voy a traducir mal. Entonces tuve que tomar ese riesgo. So I was thinking outside the box. You know, like what would happen if? That, the, in, um, that is something very common in, in, in companies. Like think outside the box. Mm -hmm. You know, are you the type, like I, I think Alexander, you, you're a type of person that thinks outside the box, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like with a demanding con clientes que requieren, son bien demandantes. Complicated, you know, like, yes. Yeah, complicated. So, you, okay, no problem. I will do it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I try to talk with, with their, with their in, in, try to fix it, the problem, or maybe the requirement, et cetera, et cetera. And I try to calm down all time. I think, okay, calm down, because maybe sometimes they uh, uh, ask me, but like a temperamental, what you, okay, just tell me uh, how, what do you want, et cetera, et cetera, and try to calm down and uh, the fix the, the the problem or or help in some times. Yeah. But the idea is relax, okay? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah, good. Good, okay. But imagine, imagine they tell, imagine Alexander, I tell you, um, I want all your chefs, I want all your chefs, mm -hmm. Or I want all your people to be, I don't know. I want all your people to be, to speak English. No, no, that's not that. No, because that's kind of difficult from one day to another. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. I want all, I want your people to paint their nails. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I want everybody of your staff with their nails black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you say, wait a minute, so no puedo hacer. Yeah. And you say, sure, yeah, no problem, because you're thinking outside the box. Okay, no, no, you, you, I, I will speak with the staff. Hey, look, I'm sorry, we have to change the protocol right now, but just for today, paint your nails black, okay? Mm -hmm. I will, I will pay for the, for the. ¿Cómo se llama para quitarlo? Acetona. Acetona. <laughs> hey, here's a funny story. When Aerosmith came to the concert. Mm -hmm. in Salvador, mm -hmm. I, I went and I painted my nails black uh -huh. and I went with a mask of, of Jason uh -huh. and I you? was, yeah, yes and <laughs> I, I went with my wife, I was yeah and the next day I had to teach It was a so that was a Friday, the next day was a Saturday uh -huh. and, I, and I had to teach and um, uh -huh. so in the morning, you know, I take a shower and I tell my wife, can you please give me a cetona, and she said, I don't have any <laughs> so what <laughs> I don't have acetona it's, oh my god look my nails are black <laughs> <laughs> my nails are black so hey mm -hmm. so what do I do you know what I did I had to think outside the box mm -hmm. so I remember I went to the class and I said okay class look <laughs> okay. you know and everybody who teach or what happened I went to the concert yesterday so I painted my nails black you know <laughs> that's thinking outside the box come on oh, okay. so those are expressions in your job you know think outside the box and bring to the table do you know that expression also bring to the table no bring ideas to the yes. table mm -hmm. mm. like for example we have a new plan and then we're in the table is five people we're talking about this new plan we oh. want to make a new plan Mm -hmm. So, in your experience, Alexander, in your experience, Marelos, in your experience, Omi, what can you bring to the table? Uh, because it's like a, a store ideas. Exactly. Store ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that table, that idea is the box. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Teacher, but you can bring to the table a problem also. Yes. Anything, anything related to that plan. It, it can be negative or positive. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What can you bring to the table? You know, I have this good ideas. I have this great plan. 
one time I saw this person and he was doing this. So I was thinking, hey, why don't we, why don't we incorporate this here? So that's bringing ideas to the table. Yes, you know, to make, um, um, to make a better, better, um, ¿cómo se llama? a better work, better job. Mm -hmm. Like I'll give you one example. Uh, in my house, there's this lady that she sells. This is what she does. Mm -hmm. You know, and I promise you, nobody understood what the hell she sells. <laughs> uh -huh. And, you know, one day I was in my living room and I heard her and I actually I went out just to check. Que lo que vende, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I ah, no miento. Era tapa y suela. You know, and I'm, ¿qué dice? ¿Qué dice? I don't know. Suela, pero what the hell is that? Well, so he came the next week. Top by suela, you know. Top by suela. What the hell is top by suela? So one day I was sitting and I heard the top by suela man. Mm -hmm. So they, oh, see, I have to go out and see what this is. <laughs> and I saw this old man. He fixed shoes. Mm -hmm. So he was saying top by suela. You know, I spoke with him. Hey, jefe, man. But tapizuela, nobody understands. I mean, yeah, la suela, you know. Why don't you say zapatos? <laughs> you know, like, and I promise you, he does, he now he does it like zapatos, and he gets more people. Because I tell him, people sometimes they don't understand what you're saying. And maybe if you say your service more clear, mm -hmm. people will understand you. You think? Yes. Y como digo, I don't know. Digan, like, you know. <laughs> The uh, zapato reparo or something, you know. <laughs> and he says, but se quedó con zapatos. And sometimes I see people giving him shoes, so that's cool. Okay. That's, you know, that's thinking outside the box. It's like, hey. Okay. All right. So um, tomorrow we will continue. We will finish this and... Maybe if we finish everything tomorrow, Friday, we can have an activity where we can do a song, a song okay. comprehension. Okay. We will practice listening to a song and not singing. Okay. I'm going to play a song and see if we can understand the concept of the song because sometimes people say, Can you wait? Oh, oh my God, this was Kiria. It's here. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, teacher, but Yo. tomorrow, tomorrow do, uh, do, do you? Don't have a, a, a day off because Teacher's Day? No, not for you. Hey, it's true. No, no. No. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that um, Teacher's Day and Father's Day, people don't care. Oh, okay. Ese meme es cierto, man. Okay. Mother's Day, Olive Garden. <laughs> Father's Day, Little Caesars. Uh -huh. <laughs> Or you, <laughs> yes, or like uh, Father's Day. ¿Qué vas a querer? Mira la señora del comedor tiene carne asada. <laughs> that's Father's Day. <laughs> no, but that's cool. Yeah, so no, um, we haven't received anything. So I think the plan still continues tomorrow. Okay. If not, we will do it. We'll okay, check, okay. all right? Okay. <laughs> okay, then thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Hello. Bye. 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 Bye.